Hi guys, today we're gonna talk about the common fuel rail. This part is the one that handles the high pressure after the high pressure pump. And let's start from the beginning from the rail. This one belongs to a DD15 engine. And in general, it looks the same for other kinds of engine like Packard, in, uh, A26, uh, Cummins, they look about the same. So we're gonna talk about this one today. And to start, as you can see, this is the fuel pressure sensor, okay? This one measures how much is the pressure inside the rail because here, as you can see, has a sticker the, uh, if you can read the pressure in here is really high it's around between uh, 20,000 psi and up to 36,000 psi enough to uh, uh, pierce your skin and probably uh, uh, you get a serious you know damage in your body so if you're gonna open it be careful and that's one of the things you need to know about it that it has a higher pressure as you can see this is the first line for the first injector this is the outlet port that goes directly to the injector okay and this is the injector seal this one usually leaks oil and sometimes they make a big mess here on the top if your truck has that kind of you know uh, mess around you should replace those first usually you can see you can spot the oil around here and if you see any leak in here replace all of them at the same time don't just replace one replace all of them okay this is the first for the first injector second third and so on other thing that you need to know about the common fuel rail is like uh, if you see like there is like any leak around the rail any leak everywhere around here on this part usually they leak around here this part in here the welding side and we're gonna check it out the back so i can explain to you usually they leak from here okay you see this part that leak around here i already replaced two or three of those because they leak around here and many people say if you can fix them and no you cannot fix these parts. You have to replace the whole thing because it's really dangerous if you fix it and it breaks over the road, okay? Because it has a lot of pressure like I told you before, guys. Okay, these two ports that you see in here, they, if you, we follow them, you see they go directly to the high pressure pump. And here on these lines, again, there is a lot of pressure and every time you replace the high pressure pump or the fuel rail, you have to replace these two lines because when you untie this, this, these, uh, these plugs in here, they usually they break or crack. So don't reuse them. Change it so that way you're sure it will not leak. This part in here and this part they work together this is the pressure limiting valve if the pressure on the rail goes over 36,000 psi it's gonna open and let it go the fuel back to the fuel filter module see this line goes directly back to the fuel filter module that's the job of this part in here and if this part opens around more than 50 times and around 50 times I guess uh, it's gonna turn on the check engine light on and tell you there's something wrong with the fuel pressure in the in the rail okay so now guys uh, I'm gonna show you another rail but without it be mount in the engine this common rail belongs to a Volvo D13 engine 
as you can see and it goes inside the engine head cover and right now we're gonna check the inlet port that that's it that's the inlet port over there and the harness it's the one for the relief valve okay that's the first injector and as you can see that one is an electrical injector so it doesn't have rocker arm right and you have the other one the second injector which is a mechanical injector okay the third one it's a electrical injector which is interesting because it doesn't require again rocker arm and that's the fuel pressure sensor you know to measure the pressure on the common rail that's the injector number five and injector number six and as you can see it has rocker arm two that was a mechanical injector and the whole rail as you can see it's inside so it means if you have any leak from the fuel right it's gonna leak everything inside guys but for now let's keep checking around and that is the engine brake valve and you can see clear the harness over there that goes into it and as you can notice i mentioned it before the there is couple electrical injectors and mechanical injectors and one three and five are electrical injectors two four and six are mechanical injectors which they require rocker arm i don't know how this design from volvo is gonna uh you know continue at the end of the <laughs> at the end but the only problem i can see is like the fuel leak uh, if you have any fuel leak like internally you it's gonna be really hard to notice it there is nothing different about the gears they look the same to me the main uh, difference between older engines and this engine is like uh, major is the fuel rail inside the engine head and part of the harness because uh, you, as you can see is no a single harness anymore now it's like uh dd style which is good because before if you have any issue you had to replace the whole engine harness if the injector harness was a problem and this one we open it because the check engine light was on and required to replace the uh, injector harness the fuel pressure sensor and the fuel relief valve which uh by the way, we couldn't replace because it wasn't the same. This is the common fuel rail without being mounted on the engine. And as you can see, I'm gonna show you how it looks in the inside of the holes. And as you can see, it's really small. Since the injectors require a lot of pressure, this help see all of them are the same I'm gonna show you see all of them except for one okay the only one that's different is the one that goes in the limiting valve and as if we pay close attention inside this valve retracts when the pressure is really high so this helps to relieve the pressure in the rail when there is too high okay and if you weight it i believe it weighs around 15 pounds maybe 15 but no more than 15 pounds i'm pretty sure about it and as you can see behind there is nothing it's completely smooth from this part because it has three mounts one that goes in here there is another one in here and there is another one in here in here and here 
in the beginning so remember you have to replace the rail if it leaks it doesn't matter from where all right if the uh, pressure limiting valve is uh, give you troubles you just have to replace this part you don't have to replace the rail the same goes for the fuel pressure sensor this one is quite expensive since it measures high pressure so be prepared to spend a few bucks on it and remember if you're gonna work on this you have to wait around 10 minutes before you start servicing any part of the high pressure circuit and that's all i have for you guys uh thanks for watching and if you have questions leave it in the section below and i'm gonna try to answer to you as soon as i can thanks and i'll see you in my next video bye